What's up everybody back? What's up everybody back? What's up everyone? Welcome back. So today we're going to be drawing a foal. A baby horse. Portrait of it, sort of close up. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. So, let's go. I'm gonna start with the eye, right? So, typical sort of horse eye, let me see, yeah. Okay, so we go, we start with this sort of eyelashes, right? So we go up and down diagonally there. And these are like just eyelashes kind of sticking out here. You can make them as hairy as you want. Right, and then the eye kind of comes down the front, out to there. And we've got kind of a tear duct that it curves around and then it goes back underneath the eye. So it goes back up to the corner and then up around to here, right? So a lot of around the eye is like dark sort of black. So you can just see the, the actual iris, the sort of brown part just here. And the back of it sort of in here. And the rest is kind of, it's basically colored in black. You could add maybe a shine or something to the inside of this if you wanted to make it look wet. You know, you could leave like a little bubble just there. Okay. And in here black as well. So then, horse pupils. I'm not sure if they're if they're oval or I usually just color them black. But I tell you, I'm just going to do a little Google search now because I need to figure that out. Right, so horse eye. So you can color this whole thing black and leave a highlight if you want. But we're going to go anatomically correct with this one. So we're going to go this sort of oval eye. Okay, and we'll just shade that in. And now what I'm gonna do as well, just to give a little bit of detail, we're gonna add a little bit of highlight up here. And then we're gonna add some shade just to the top, like some hatching lines just up here, coming down the corner. Two ways, of course, to do those highlights. You can leave that white circle or you can put white paint on top, like so, like a little blob just there like that. Just makes it look a bit shiny, that's all. Okay, so let's start with the detailing around the eye. So we got some like eyelid lines coming around. Just the top like this. One along the bottom as well. And then we have a line that comes down from the tear duct just towards the snout, right? So it goes down quite long. There, like that. Okay. And it's about, say, the width of the eye, it'll go down twice. So this distance, one, two, and that's where it'll start to meet sort of the skin for the nostril, right? So it's, it's the distance to the nose, right? So we got this sort of oval shape just here. This eye width, once, twice, will roughly bring it to the nose. And then inside there is good and dark. Right, so we've got like the nostril just there. Right. And then there is like skin flaps and things around that. So like more sort of detailing lines like so. So the front of this now is just out from here a little bit and they're real square. Okay, so it's like a straight down sort of line. And then we can just see sort of bumping for the nose. And then this will go back up towards the eye just there. And the distance between here and here is about an eye as well. So this and this is about the same here to here and there to there is about the same. All right, so that's, that'll give you your angle to reach for. And then we go up around the other 
eye line and then up towards the hair and we can stick some eyelashes off here as well maybe like a brow line just like a bumping sort of brow line there Okay, so rest of the mouth and snout. So we go down here. This is the top lip, like so. And usually it's we've got like a little dimple just there in the back. Bottom lip, down around, like so. Like a lip sort of line here. So then bottom of the jaw or the snout area just there and then the jawline real round up around nearly to the eye and as well texture and stuff for the jaw bones and all these lines that horses have on their faces there's a line coming around the eye here, actually. Going up towards the ear. <laughs> and of course, it's optional how much of that you do. You could just do the outline if you wanted to avoid any of those. texture lines right so ear then so just up here right so we'll go simple enough just real pointy up to there and then back down like that right and then the inside of that ear like flaps down here and then we'll have so where it kind of joins the head you know it kind of We've got some like curvature just here and then, like an outside line and maybe some fur inside there. Not much. So we've got like the mane coming down the front. So just sitting on the head, depending on what kind of mane you want to do. Of course, you could do like a shave, you know, or like a cut hair if you wanted, you know, like a square sort of thing coming down here. It depends on what type you like, I guess. We'll just do something sort of hairy like this. Do, do. And the ear on the other side then just comes up here, back down. Can't really see the inside of this one. We'll just give it an edge line and maybe some fur just sticking out there. Now some anatomy, so neck, right? So it goes down this way. And we'll have some like folds for skin just here. So the back of the neck, it comes down from the ear here. So this is kind of bumpy because it's got his mane on it, okay? And then his back kind of just goes off that way. So before we draw the mane here, we'll just get the rest. So like front shoulder, there, this one here, and it joins the back of the neck like that. And then we also have another muscle line here. A few of them. You know, like some broken lines here for muscles. like so sort of stuff and there should be like a spine sort of line here a little bit like that okay and then finally the rest of that hair right so again depending on what you like we'll just add some sort of hair spikes sort of 
curving around here. And then some texture just curving up around. you how much texture you want to put on it of course but that's it we'll just thicken up some edge lines right but i think that'll do that's how to draw a foal or a pony hope it was helpful guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye